Hello there, and welcome to Extreme World. Two strong earthquakes of magnitude 6.31 and 6.34 actually hit Afghanistan. The tremors were so strong that they were both in neighboring provinces. The earthquake caused widespread damage, with more than 1,310 houses collapsing. Recent reports indicate that more than 2,000 lives have been lost, and more than 9,000 people have been injured. The worst affected areas were some villages in Herat province, where more than 605 houses were destroyed or partially damaged. About 4,205 people have been affected in these areas. The epicenter is about 42 kilometers, 27 miles, northwest. Rescue teams worked tirelessly from the night to find survivors trapped under the rubble. The death toll is expected to rise as rescue operations continue. With thousands injured and a severe lack of medical facilities, hospitals are struggling to provide treatment. Emergency supplies are being sent through the United Nations and other agencies. Abu Bakr, 46, a resident of Herat, described his experience to AFP. We were in our office when suddenly the building started shaking. Plaster fell from the walls and cracks appeared. I could not reach my family because of the network. Down. I am very worried and scared. I was. It was a terrifying experience. Besides, when the first earthquake was felt, many residents of Herat City came out of their houses. Schools, hospitals, offices become empty. No casualties were reported in the metropolitan area after the earthquake. Due to its location near the junction of the Eurasian and Indian tectonic plates, Afghanistan experiences frequent earthquakes, especially in the Hindu Kush mountains. Last June, a 5.9 magnitude earthquake in Paktika province killed more than 1,500 people and left hundreds of thousands homeless. Abdul Wahid Ryan, a spokesman for the Ministry of Information and Culture, said six villages had been destroyed and hundreds of civilians were buried under the rubble and called for urgent aid. The World Health Organization, DU, has expressed fears that the death toll could rise further if the rescue operation begins in full swing.